Welcome to Live Edge, episode number next. I'm Matt. I'm Amy. And this is 731 More Works. Welcome to the show. Welcome. Welcome to the show. This live stream is brought to you by 731MoreWorks.com. Oh, sorry. What have you done? That's not me. That ain't me? Look. I'm muted. I don't know what's going on. It ain't me? You have problems all the time, don't you? It's you. Not me, baby. <laughs> we got echoes. We got echoes. That is so super weird. That's what is that? Be you. Is it this? It, no, that's not plugged in. Oh my gosh! You know what we should call this? Live edge with technical difficulties. With lots of technical difficulties. I don't know what's causing that. Is he gone? Yeah. So it was something you did. I guess Told it was you on. It was you. I think I had the tab open. <laughs> you know hey, that. You know those moments when. You know, all those moments when the woman finds out she's right. This live stream is brought to you by 731boards.com slash store. Go check out our online store. We have an easy to follow build plans to help you make awesome projects. <laughs> hey, we got some cool stuff to talk about tonight. Uh, I want to get into the best miter saw I think is for most people. And then, but first I want to talk to you. Well, let's, let's, I got a mail call. We got to do mail call. We're, so I, we're I, all I, out of whack tonight. I've decided that. Oh, Instead of just that. opening the mail we get and then showing you guys what we got, I figured we'd just open it on the stream so everybody can see what we get. So this is some shirts. You got something to open it with? Yeah, my hands. <laughs> this is from Kent. Thank you, Kent. Sorry for the rattle. These are a couple of shirts he made us. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh, hey, <laughs> have you ever heard of a bull in a china cabinet? <laughs> that is so, you, oh, those are Bella canvas. Yep. Bella canvas is the best. That's the kind we see us too. I like Bella canvas. I have no idea what they're going to say. I can't <laughs> it. it says CNC is woodworking. Oh, I love that. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's awesome. That's fantastic. And this one oh, is, uh, goodness. says the same thing. It's just another color. Uh, because it's for me, weirdo. Yep. It's like a pinkish purple. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, <laughs> Jeff Allred is able to chat again. What? Yeah, there he is. Oh my goodness! You He's been to having technical play difficulties some music too. On that one. That's awesome. You're not gonna hold mine up oh, to show the color of mine. That's I mean, what I was gonna do. I was gonna hold like, it right Seriously? Up. This is yours. We're holding it up now. Okay. CNC is is woodworking. woodworking. Bull and shiny cabinet over here now. Thank you, man. <laughs> Those are pretty cool. That's really awesome. Hey, Dwayne. Yeah. So, uh, also we have a sawdust spotlight. I want to show you. Uh, I lost it. I had it. I think what happened. What happened was I had it. I think what happened was you forgot how to work a computer. I think you're right. I'm over here with my readers on, making my eyes all big, y'all. Oh, Faith had asked about uh, members only. No, we did not have one of those tonight. We had a meeting tonight mm -hmm. that we had to go to. So this sawdust spotlight is from Kevin Acock. Check that out. He made some lanterns. Aren't you what to call those things? Lanterns? Mm -hmm. They're lantern boxes. Lantern boxes. Those are really cool. Good job, man. So if you don't know, our daughter, Mo, as we love to call her, mm -hmm. Shoddy, she's the one that picks Shoddy. our spotlight out every week. Spot Spotlight. Spotlight. <laughs> Star Trek. <laughs> Oh, it's been nuts today. It's been nuts every day. Hey, it's Amy, what's nuts. up? Y'all yes. make sure you are dropping those states. Yeah, drop the states. And so um, many of you know, we just passed 200,000 subscribers uh, last week. Thank you mm -hmm. very much for that. And so to celebrate, I reached out to several companies and several companies have agreed to help us out with a giveaway. If you have not entered yet, there's a link in the description below that'll take you. It's the first link you'll see in the description. It'll take you to the giveaway and you it'll tell you how to enter. Uh, it's not sponsored by YouTube or anything like that. It's strictly from us and the graciousness of the companies that have supplied stuff for us. I want to show you some of the stuff if y'all want to see it. Do you want to see it? I think do they do. want to see it? First and foremost, uh, these are in no particular order. Total Boat is supplied a tabletop epoxy kit like I used on this desk. It actually solidifies the But it's the not stuff. this one. They're going to no, ship, ship it straight to you. Yep. 
And then also the thick set epoxy, like we used on, what do we use it on? The, the workbench. Workbench. I've also got, I will have a set of Isotunes earphones. Uh, though they're hearing protection earphones like OSHA standards. They're really nice. I've got a set of those um, that Isotunes is going to give and send to you straight from them. Working the Grain Hardwoods has donated a cutting board kit. So that's going to be awesome. Somebody will be able to make their own cutting board. And then, um, I hope I don't forget nobody. Uh, Masca is donating several pocket hole jigs. So there'll be several of those. A lot of people ask, do you have to be present to win next week? No, you do not. But we'd love to have you on. But if you're not able to make it and your name is drawn, you'll still win. And I'm just going to email you. You'll have seven days to confirm that you win. Mike Taylor from TayTools.com has donated multiple things, uh, one of which is a Narex set of chisels. These are extremely nice chisels. One I have I have sharpened. Uh, they come new, but if you don't know, I didn't. When you get a new set of chisels, they have to be sharpened. And so I did a video on how to sharpen chisels. So that'll be coming out in a week or so. And it's actually very easy. I was extremely intimidated to even try this. But I started doing it. Uh, Mike was gracious enough with his time that he took about an hour on the phone. We talked about a whole bunch of stuff, but he took 15 or 20 minutes to explain how to do this properly. Walk me through it step by step. And he's got a scary sharp um, sharpening system that he sells. So you don't need a diamond stone. See, that's one of the things that was really um, intimidating me was having to get a diamond stone. And then you have to take the diamond stone and flatten a wet stone and do all, man, all that stuff's gone with this system he's got. It's a couple of pieces of glass, really thick glass, some abrasive paper, stick on paper you put on there, certain steps you take. I got a video, I'm gonna show you how to do it. Super easy, super easy. And once you get them sharp, you shouldn't have to resharpen them very often at all. You take your leather strop and Kind of like an old barber stropped his uh, razor. It's a very similar idea. Okay. The saying is a bull in a china shop. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. me. What'd you say? China cabinet. That's it. That's oh, I'm uh, more of a cabinet guy. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> also, I have eight. Okay, so I'm going to do a video. Hey, so hey, a couple hey, of these. You're hitting my computer screen there, Slick. A couple of these may, so a couple of these may be slightly used, maybe a time or two. I'm going to do a video comparing this to a Diablo because this is CMT's new line they've come out with. These are the ITK Extreme, and they're supposed to be in line in price uh, with a uh, Diablo brand. And I'm a big fan of CMT blades, if you don't know. I've used them for a while now on the channel. I really like them a lot. And I've actually switched to all CMT for my table saw and miter saw. So he sent me eight of these, two miter saw blades, uh, a 96 tooth and a 80 tooth. And I ordered an, a 96 tooth and a combination 50 tooth for a table saw that I'm going to do the com comparing. And I've got some CMT combination blades. I've got a 60 tooth, uh, 80 tooth, 40 tooth, and a 24 tooth ripping blade, two 60 tooth blades. So those, I'm going to give all eight of those away. So those eight chances to win. We've got a bunch of stuff to give away next week. And that's going to be good because more people have an opportunity to win. And I've got a couple of these little handy-dandy sandy mouses. If you've seen that video, these things are handy to shirt pocket, y'all. I'm telling you. This is a southern phrase, if you <laughs> don't know it. Every, who, everything who around get? here is handy as a shirt pocket. That's right. Did I forget somebody? Who else gave it to us? Hold on. Brother Ribs asking me how I was feeling. And he wants to know if I saved him any ribs. No. No. She ate all your ribs. <laughs> so I took leftovers with me for lunch today, Brother Rib. And as soon as my kids left my classroom to go eat their lunch, I was digging into them. I had prepared, so I had a towel with me. I had ribs all over both hands. <laughs> and I was tearing them up. <laughs> Southern style. I get like a 20-minute lunch break. So I was eating Hey, Sorry. They, they were good, though. I ain't enough for the both of us. I'll say that. And also, <laughs> I'll have two gift cards, two $25 gift cards to give from Copper John's Beard Company. So if you got a beard or your spouse has a beard or you know somebody with a beard and you win those, they're, they're really good products. I've been using them for a couple of weeks now, three, four weeks now. And uh, I, I've been grooming the old beard. And if you use code 731 at Copper John's, uh, you'll get... 15% off. 
Uh, Andy Freeman says his mom and sister tested COVID positive Sunday. Oh, mom is in the hospital. Sister feeling okay. Just need prayers for my mom. She is 90 years old. Mm. So y'all say prayers for Andy's Very mom. Much so. Sorry to hear that. Michelle Koshell or Georgia Peach says, I know y'all are busy, but I'm waiting for a few holiday cooking videos. <laughs> I'm actually getting ready to, I'm, I'm, I've got my plans for videos. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to do my channel, but I am going to start doing some cooking videos, um, but probably on a separate channel mm -hmm. um, from some other stuff that I'll be doing. So hopefully we can start doing that soon. It's it's going to take me a few months to get everything ready. I'm going to get some videos done ahead of time. Thank you, Mr. Fausto Woodcraft. Uh, somebody, uh, who was it? I don't want to get wrong. Justin Etheridge said he, he got paid in confirmation for his Tumblr. Yes, the Tumblr's. Uh, are being printed now. So you should see a, a payment confirmation go through. And then also I was told that they will ship November 8th to uh, Jungle Jane, and then he will repackage them out of the mass or the big box into your individual boxes and ship them to you from there. So hopefully within a week or two, you'll have your tumbler. So uh, Dwayne Day said that your beard's looking good. Thank you. I appreciate that. Hey, I'm telling you what, that Copper John stuff is good stuff. It makes it real soft. It smells it good smells too. Smells good. But but he he oils his beard too much. I was been oiling at night after a bath, and uh, you can't do that because it gets on no, your pillow. No, because now all my pillowcases have these huge <laughs> oil marks uh, on them. <laughs> that's hilarious. And the pillows underneath the case are that that's way. That's hilarious. Now. That's good. Good. So now, even if I don't oil, they're still oil there to replenish. Why you? Why every time I walk around the corner, he in the bathroom brushing his beard. Hey, it's the only hair I've had for years, years. If he's not getting back to any of y'all's messages, it's because he's in there brushing I'm his grooming. beard. I'm <laughs> <laughs> uh, Orbo wants to know what's the difference between a double and a single single miter saw. I think you're talking about a dual bevel or a single bevel. So that's going to be which way it tilts. So not just the miter cut. So angle cuts up to 90 degrees left or right. It'll also do a bevel cut, which is the saw itself. The blade will actually yes. tilt one way or the other. If it only tilts one way, it's a single. If it, t it tilts both ways, it's a double. Says the 731 all beard slick. all slick. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. That's hilarious. Becca, he's something else. So tonight I want to talk about the best miter saw for most people. And I had it pulled up. Before my, I don't know what happened, but anyway. So I think personally that a lot of people, when they go to buy a miter saw, they either buy too cheap. In other words, they not not cheap price, but a cheap saw. And they wind up regretting it and wind up, ha wind up having to buy something later. Or they just overspin on the saw and don't really get best bang for the buck kind of thing. Now, when I bought my miter saw, the DWS 779, which I'll show you here on the screen, I put a link in the description below if you're interested in looking at it. Uh, when I bought it, it was, I think it was $499 or $340 or $440, something. it was higher than $399, if I'm not mistaken. We bought it at Lowe's in Pine Bluff, Arkansas, and I went and picked it up and brought it home. This thing is so highly rated, you can just go read all the Amazon ratings on this thing. Tons and tons and tons of high rating uh, on Amazon, like five star, 13,000 reviews, something like that. And so it is just like super highly rated. Uh, thank you, Mr. Foster Woodcraft. Again, thank you so much. Says, God bless, brother. Thanks for the inspiration. Thank you, man. And um, Edward Gash says, My name is Edward Gash from uh, New Guinea. New Guinea. <laughs> I just love your channel. I don't know if <laughs> it's his you. first time on here or not. It's awesome. But welcome, Edward, if it's your new time, your first time. So the auction off the pillowcase for charity. <laughs> oh Lord. <laughs> so the the Meyer saw, the DeWalt Meyer saw is a twelve inch dual uh compound Meyer saw. So it'll do both bevel both ways. It's sliding, so it gets that extra extra cut capacity there. And I have run into so many times that I'm glad I had that because at the time I bought there, I think the 716 model doesn't slide, something like that. I was looking at that one because it was quite a bit less expensive. Had I went with that, I would have totally regretted it for a very long time. I use the sliding feature all the time. 
all the time. I very rarely use the bevel feature because I don't do a whole lot of like crown molding and stuff like that. But the miter cuts and that sliding cut, I use all the time. And for me personally, my pick is the DeWalt and price and what you get out of that price. It's just a best bang for the buck kind of thing. I had the Delta for a long time that I used. It was a great saw. The only downside of it was the dust collection would throw back in your face. But for the most part, if I was spending my money, like if I'm if I'm buying a saw, picking between those two, I'm going to pick the, De the DeWalt because of the price. And it's just a good saw. Now, that if you don't have that extra room behind that saw that the DeWalt's going to need for that sliding bars to go back behind it, then obviously then something like the Bosch or the Delta or even the new Rigid, which is basically the rebrand of the Delta, would work just the same. Copper John's in the house. Copper John's. He is. I need to know what gets your beard oil out of pillowcases. <laughs> he says, don't oil before bedtime. Yes. <laughs> or what do they call them? Plastic, like plastic sheets. You get a plastic, uh, oh my you get a plastic pillowcase. Oh my goodness. I even told him when, when I made him change it, I said, put on an old pillowcase on your pillow. He wouldn't do it. Mm -hmm. like, no, I want my regular pillowcases. Billy wants to know, what would you pick between a bandsaw or a miter saw? I guess just an all-around saw if you could only have one. I'm, if I only have one, I'm picking a miter saw because I use it. And But that's me. I mean, that's just what the type of projects I'm making. I would, I've used, I've done without a bandsaw now for a long time. But I just, you I don't get, know. You get my satin or a silk pillowcase. I saw that. Ten bucks on Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. David uh, David Shearer says he got the twelve inch sliding compound miter saw for three hundred dollars at Christmas time two years ago and loves it. I've heard good things about those. Then the one thing about the the, the wall is three ninety nine regularly, but it goes on sale like all the time. So if you could you could go to camelcamelcamel.com dot com and put in a uh, price alert on Amazon or go to Slick Deals. That's what I do. Slickdeals dot net is the one I use. You can put in a price alert. It'll email you anytime there's a price alert on anything that you want, uh, any tool. I always set those if I'm looking for a specific tool and it'll alert you as soon as somebody posts a deal on it. I'm going to hold your hand, see if you can talk. I can't talk without my hands. I'm going to see if you can. I can't. I get told all the time <laughs> on my videos I move too much. He does that all through <laughs> church too. I'm like, stop. He he gets to moving so much he's messing with his head all the time. I'm like, people are going to think you have bugs. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob Kite says, don't forget about the Makita Meyer saws. They have forward facing slide rails. But it's not as budget friendly as the rigid. Yep, that's that's one of the one of the things that I took into consideration when thinking about this live stream topic was that uh, price. That's one of the reasons I I didn't recommend the the uh, Delta versus this one because of the price. It's just if you're if it's your first miter saw and you want one that's going to last for a long time, then I would recommend the Dewalt. That's the one I've had, and it's been what four and a half years I've had it. I don't and know. Just it. It's just, it's just working. Good deal. Dwayne Tate says he has the DeWalt DW717 and love. Just hate how far back the sliding bar yeah, is. Yeah, it's the same as that 779. It just slides back so far. It's just like if if that wasn't there, it, it I'm sure it'd raise the price. But it that's just one of those things. It's kind of the trade-off you have to pick there. <laughs> Becca said, keep moving, buddy. She <laughs> says she does that too. <laughs> that's funny. That's funny. Scroll sawing. John Bradley wants to know if you've ever tried scroll sawing. I have sawing. not. I haven't got a scroll saw. That's what uh, that picture is made of right there. Mm -hmm. it up there. Oh, you yeah. can't see it. Y'all can't see it. It's up there. The one Mr. Jackie Mr. Did. Jackie made it for us. Mm -hmm. um, Faith Bu Building Woodwork says he'd recommend the Hitachi Matabo? Matabo. Matabo? Mm -hmm. Slider. It's zero clearance and full set for bevels to cut them. Recently upgraded after finding it on clearance after the military discount for 200 bucks. Well, sweet. I saw that. Uh, I was looking at those two. M the Matabo saws on Amazon are extremely highly rated. Matabo? Highly, highly rated. Matabo. Matabo? Mm -hmm. You can tell I don't have anything to do with that stuff. I sh I sh Married I sh man says, take it from someone stuff. with a large beard. Don't oil before bed. <laughs> Stephanie said... Do this in order. Pillow, then allergy pillowcase, <laughs> then cloth towel, then silk or satin pillowcase. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I could see him trying to sleep on a silk or satin pillowcase. He's slipping sliding, sliding all, all over. The, he says that all the time. Y'all see this slick in? 
Oh my goodness, I don't know what to do with him. <laughs> <laughs> Thank y'all so much for all the birthday wishes on Sunday yeah, too. Yeah, that was I awesome. Had, had so many of you reach out to me, and it was so super cool. Yep. Um, yeah. I was I was bragging about that today because y'all know I've I've spoken about my family a little here and there, and I I think this was the first birthday that my mom didn't actually send me a text telling me happy birthday. I'd normally do get a, at least a text, and so I went to bed that night and I was feeling kind of down because I never heard from her. But then I was like, wait, I heard from all of my mm -hmm. other family, so I'm good. <laughs> it was awesome too. Yeah. So that it was pretty cool. I had to just kind of remind myself. Somebody want to know if there was any drawbacks to the 12 inch miter saw. I don't, I don't think so. I mean, it's a little bit bigger. The blades will cost you a little bit more, but you get that so much. Thank you, Dana. you get a bigger depth you, of cut with a 12 inch saw. You get a bigger depth of cut with a 12 inch saw versus a 10 inch. Thank you, Dwayne. So that was, that's what I would say. I would, I would, if I could go with a 12 inch versus a 10, I would go 12. Damon says, happy uh, 27th. I turned the big 4-4 four four this year. <laughs> I, I had to join the team with him. Yep. He, he was picking on me about it, too. Welcome to the club. Yeah, that's what he kept telling me. Saturday night, he kept saying, well, up tomorrow you get to be old with me. Yep. They made my birthday so special, though. I didn't get her near enough. Yeah. Oh, don't listen to him. <laughs> Y'all know he don't know how to tell the truth. Rodney says uh, <laughs> the blade on a 12-inch deflects more. That makes sense. Hey, Faith Bill. Thank you for being here, man. I'm trying to catch some of these. Uh, Stephanie says, I love this screen layout. I got the chat we, showing. I know. Um, Took me a little bit to get that mm -hmm. and figure it out. It yeah. kept moving on me. <laughs> Dwayne said he's one day younger than you. <laughs> Happy belated at 21st. Yeah. Thank you, Billy. Ooh. Mark, sometimes I'm I'm that full 44. Sometimes I'm not. Sometimes I'm that 21. Yeah, when some I'm days. In there, when I'm in there cooking and I've got a good music going, I, I feel that young <laughs> again. But then the next day after I've danced for a while, then I feel the 44 <laughs> again. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, thank y'all for the birthday wishes. You're so far away. Oh, the screen. The screen, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I like it like this. I like that it's got this on it. Yeah. The this border line. stuff. 211 says I purchased a DW780 and absolutely loved it, but just got my 12 by 20 workshop and purchased the Delta Bree brand rigid due to space. Gave the Dewalt to the neighbor. That's awesome. Rhonda Brazola wants to know what the deflect means. So a deflect is like the blade itself will actually move. I mean, we're talking a little bit, but in woodworking, sometimes a little bit can, can be a lot when you start building things. But uh, so if you, if you go watch the, a good example of this, go after the stream's over, go watch the cheapest circular saw on Amazon video. The first cut I made with it on plywood was with a, with the blade that come with it. And you, you could have thought that I cut it with a jigsaw. It was so curved, but I cut it in a straight line. I had it in a, jig that made it go straight but the blade was deflecting so much that it was actually curving so that's blade deflection it will a cheap or a bad blade or even a big big blade will deflect a little bit or a lot in that case uh, on those miss cheryl you can't see us anymore jacob uh i was you i'm i am using the dewalt dws 779 uh, i i bought that one in 2017 that was my first major purchase as a woodworker and I'm still using it. I went with the Delta for a while when they sent me that one and I, I gave it away to somebody local who needed a saw. And then now I'm back to my De DeWalt. Josh Smith, happy early birthday. His birthday is November 5th. Yep. CDM Woodworker says the DWS 779 is missing the shadow light that the 780 has, but it can be ordered online and then added to the 779 a lot cheaper. Yeah, it's like a $220, $230 upgrade. That's the only difference between the 779 and 780s that light. Miss Cheryl, you need to get you some of these. Here, we'll, we'll come on back. We'll come on back. The, these things are from, the website's called Peepers, isn't yep. it? Yep. Man, these. these things are great because they're blue light, but they're also the reading that you can get whatever strength you need, but they also come with the blue light mm -hmm. thing. Oh, they're amazing. They make your eyes look big. And my students like to laugh at me when I'm using them. 
but I love them. Chuck, yeah, the the <laughs> I do miss that butter smooth glide on that Delta. Butter smooth. Yeah, you always talked about that a lot. Butter smooth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> smooth like butter. Oh, she said she has glasses on. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Stephanie's loving your beard. Thank you. Thank you. It's still got a couple little patches, but we're trying to grow. I'm gonna have a comb over. Come over to patches. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Get it long enough for me to braid it. Yeah. A little like married man then. What tooth count do you recommend on your miter saw? I'm currently using a 32 tooth that came with it. That's a 32 tooth is good okay, for. Okay, Damon. <laughs> a 32 tooth is good for like rough construction, rough cutting things. If you're doing any type of furniture or cutting board, stuff like that, 80 or above. I, I like a 96 tooth and 80 tooth works good too. Something with more teeth and a good blade. CMT makes some good blades. If you. <laughs> If you go to taytools.com, use 7, uh, 731 CMT10, you'll get 10% off. Save you a little money. Yep. Stephanie, I did try that on him, some mascara stuff. It was funny, but he kind of liked it. Devin, yeah, uh, the wrist is still the same. Plan on going back after vacation this month. Um, Michael Ridley says, I inherited a shop smith and it's intimidating trying to find the time to get everything right on it, but it's a crazy tool and big. Somebody offered to give me one of those uh, a few months ago, and I was going to take it because it had a bandsaw add on to it, but it just took up too much room. There was no way I could fit it in the shop. But yeah, those things look scary. Joe Mo says, thank you for being such an inspiration. Thank you, man. Uh, and Brother Riff says that sharp chisels will trim that beard. That's what I hear. I don't want it cut, though. It's hey, No Shave November. That's right. No Shave November. <laughs> and what's funny about that, they said that at our church Sunday, and they said, we don't want to leave the ladies out, so if y'all want to go through No <laughs> Shave November also, that's fine. Everybody looked at one particular woman, and she said, what are y'all talking about? I, I no shave all winter. <laughs> like, oh, Lord. That's funny. She said, everybody knows me, knows, and I'm not going to shave for the whole winter. Not happening. <laughs> That was terrible. Hey, Paul. Hey, Josh. Paul says, I'm getting into woodworking as a business. It is wise to specialize in something like outdoor furniture or just make a multitude of eyes that sell in your area. <laughs> so if I would, I would kind of feel the, the temperature of the room there and find out if outdoor furniture is selling better and at more of a profit than smaller items, then absolutely go for that. It just depends on what's, what's bringing you into more money. And that's costing you the less time. So if you're spending tons of time on a project that you're barely making, breaking even on, then it's really not worth it versus if you can get out there and knock out a few projects and they sell for a good profit. That's what I would do. St. Louis. Uh, Becca says lower tooth counts are better for ripping though, right? Yes, that's right. So if you're ripping wood, then 24, even a combination 50 tooth works good for kind of both ways. It's kind of a middle of the road. Uh, blade. You didn't answer James Perry, did you? I'm sorry. How, how do you prevent the tear out on the back side of the board? Uh, I've got a little short on there that uh, talks about that. Uh, zero clearance tape works really good on the bottom side. On the back side, you can build a false fence out of MDF. Uh, go check that short out. It's a few weeks old. It's got like like a little over a million views now, but it, it, it just shows you how. It's really easy. You didn't have to say you were sorry. I was saying. Oh, okay. I, I thought I missed it. You. I'm no, sorry. No. You're I'm fine. Sorry. <laughs> Um, Yo Jay Carter. Oh, sorry. I'm what? sorry. Yo 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 Strever. Yo Yo Strever. Trevor. What do you like to listen to while you do woodworking? Well, there's a couple things. Sometimes I listen to audiobooks. Sometimes I listen to country music. A lot of times I listen to Christian music. And then sometimes I like NF. And he puts on a whole show when yeah, he's I'll be listening. Singing. Hey, y'all, there's a bunch of edited oh, wow. videos out there that I have to, if you see me working and the audio cuts out or the music goes up, I have to drop the audio in, in the edit so that you can take my singing voice out of there because I'll be singing. Yeah, he did. I, I'll i hear something like, what is that? And he, She's like, is there a cat dying out there? No, it's not. Um, Let's see. There was a question right here. I'm trying to find it. Dang it. Miguel, uh, I gave the Delta away to a local woodworker who needed it, and it was the newer of the two saws. I had, a, I had two, and I was only using one. One of them was on a shelf, so... I gave him the newer and kept the older. 
Jay Carter says, I'm really tight on space. Is a Ryobi eight and a quarter table saw worth it? Just have a circular saw now. I mean, if you, if you don't have one, then it could be worth it to you. You know, it's just depend. It's just, man, it's so subjective. It just depends on what you want to cut with it. It's better than nothing. You know, it's better than not having one. If you can get one on a good deal. Joe Mo says, did you ever sell your products wholesale? No, I didn't. Mm-hmm. Andy Bird Builds did. Uh, if you go check out Andy Bird Builds, he's really, really making a business out of that. He's full time doing it. So go check him out. He's on YouTube. Uh, Mason Powers wants to know if you have any audio book recommendations. Dream Big by Bob Goff. Start with why Simon Sinek. <laughs> Jason Garrett says, so that's why my ears bleed sometimes when I watch your video. Yep, that's why. <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, Rick Calter, where do I get the zero clearance tape at? Amazon has it. It's called Fast Cap um, Zero Clearance Tape. So you can just search that and you'll find it. Hey, it's yellow. Hey, Jacob Drady's back on here. How do you prevent chip out using a router? Sharp blades. Really, really sharp blades. But be careful. Or bits. Be careful, sharp Jacob. Bits. Yep. So a lot of times you're either that or they're dirty. You can actually clean them on, on a really good bit that you haven't hey. used a whole lot. It just may be. Hey, dirty. do you know what time it is? Power tip time. Power tip time. So it doesn't really, power tip is, it. whatever tool that you go to buy, research it and make sure that you you don't cheap out just to get it thin. So a lot of times uh, in the past when I wanted a tool, I would wait until I could get the one or the ones that I wanted if it was a combo set or something because I knew that like the Delta table saw that I bought, I knew that I wanted that saw and there were several times that I was looking at a, a, a DeWalt tabletop like saw and I, I, want, I just wanted a table saw so bad. And I was looking at that, I was like, no, that's not what I'm going to need six months down the road, a year down the road. So try to think, this is a long-term game. This is a marathon. It's not a sprint. You're going to be doing this for years to come, Lord willing. So try to think ahead and say, okay, well, if I saved up another two months, then I could buy that saw that I want. That's what I would do. Wow, I'm boring her. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not. You never bore me. Okay, really quick. Let's do our state call out. We have Michigan, Maryland, Ohio, Hawaii, I can't speak, Virginia, and Virginia Beach, Indiana, Kentucky, Georgia, Illinois, Oregon, Texas, Idaho, Missouri, the UK, Massachusetts, uh, Maine, New Guinea, Australia, Canada, Florida, Alabama, Minnesota, Kansas. Uh, West Virginia, Pennsylvania, California, New Jersey, New York, South Carolina, North Carolina, Vermont, Arkansas, Louisiana, Oklahoma, Tennessee, Ohio, and Mississippi. Hmm. Massachusetts, Louisiana. I think I said those. I don't know. Miss Ann's in the house. Miss Ann's in the house. I saw that. Uh, somebody was asking about an evolution miter saw. I think Miss Cheryl. I I don't know. I I don't even. I've never heard of that. So I, that would be something I would have to research a little bit. I got stuff going on over here. Are you a bull in the china shop too? No. I am. That's just you. <laughs> That's just you. My Damon a while ago called me out on my Jeepers Creepers. <laughs> Where'd you get those peepers? <laughs> Detroit. Got all kinds of places in here. I like that name, Andy on Demand. Faith Building says, uh, I usually always keep a combination or a general purpose blade on my table saw, but I always keep a Freud glue line rip 62 fine finish for cross cuts. Yeah, I'm a big fan of having a combo blade. I, 50 or 60 tooth is about all I run on a table saw for 99% of the time. Damon, he did get it right that time. Even a broken clock is right twice a day. <laughs> Mark Wyda says, do you have a favorite band saw? I like, uh, I like Laguna tools. I, I don't even own a Laguna, but I was looking at their bandsaws. I really like their 14-inch bandsaw line. I know uh, Jeff Allred's in the house tonight. He's got one of those and really likes it a lot. Uh, Harvey makes excellent t- uh, bandsaws. Probably between those two. I would, man, it would be a toss-up. I'd have to really dig into the to the research and figure out Harvey or or um, Laguna. One of those two would probably be the ones I want. Huh. David Little says, I appreciate you too. I have a hodgepodge of tools since mama pays me by allowing me to get tools for projects. My circular saw was inherited after my dad passed away in 1976. Oh, wow. It is a 60s era 8 inch. That's that's really cool. Yeah. That's really cool. It's really cool that I was able to read it even without yeah, my Yeah, a little papers. miracle there. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Thank you, Project Toyota. Thank you. Thanks to the best duo in the biz looking to buy a jointer soon. 
what would you recommend in size? Uh, depends on what joint you're looking at, how much money you're going to spend. Uh, the minimum I would get would be an eight inch. I use that Wahuda one I got. You can go watch that review. It's It's been excellent for me. I mean, excellent for, I think, $550 or so for an eight inch jointer, bench top. It's an excellent little job. I like it a lot. Uh, hi, David Duncan. Says he watches us every week and is scared to chat. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be scared to chat. Don't be scared. David Duncan, reach out to us. Yeah, man. T- tell us something. Tell we got us. You. Tell us how you're doing tonight, David. It's scary getting Everybody on the say hi to David Duncan. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna scare him away. <laughs> no, don't scare him. <laughs> don't be scared. He's he's getting ready to come up to my school and start working or talking with some of our kids and stuff, and I think he's a little nervous. I'm too. bad nervous. You kids scare me to death. <laughs> PJ Barker says, I just bought a table saw. It's been sitting for several years. Should I do any maintenance on it before I use it? Probably so. I would absolutely put a new blade on it. And then also, if it, I don't think they have any grease fittings. It, if it was an old one, it might. But for the most part, get that tabletop rust-free. You can use a uh, bow shield rust remover. Uh, there's some little sanding blocks I just got in. I'm fixing to try. I don't even know who makes them. They're supposed to remove rust and then get you some uh, bow shield T9 is what I use on the top of mine. It's like a silicone type material uh, product that you put on the top. You can use paste wax, anything like that to keep it from rusting. But that's that. That's what I would do. Dragon Claw says, don't be scared to chat. Tear that bandaid right off. <laughs> I like that. Uh, Jesse Pinson says, first time making it to a live stream. But as a fellow Leo, a Leo or woodworker, I want to say hi. Thank you for your inspiration and videos. Don't know if you know Jesse, but he's not a Leo anymore. Yep. He's a retired Leo. Um, <laughs> hopefully, everybody knows what Leo is. Law enforcement officer. Uh, Paul Mood says, "What's your who's your favorite band? Not band saw. Do you like Christian rock groups like Red and Skillet, or who's your favorite? Yes, I like Skillet a lot. Mm-hmm. Uh, I also like uh, Mercy Me a lot. Uh, Crowder. I, I, Crowder I is awesome. And uh, uh, Toby Mac. Like, yes, those are probably my mm-hmm. tops. Like I can rock out to them all day. Crowder, man, I just." There's something about that guy, man. I, I saw him at the Caleb Fan Awards, the first time I've ever even laid eyes on this guy. And he was in down person. there in the in front person. row while everybody else was singing and stuff, and they would win a reward and he wouldn't. And this guy was like, was their biggest fan. Like at that moment, he was, I'm, a, I'm his fan now from right then. Crowder is just an awesome dude. Now I follow him on awesome. social media and he's just hilarious. Like he just posts funny stuff all the time. Yeah. yeah um, Toby Mac and him are, are probably my two favorite there. Mm-hmm. But and, I do like Skillet, and, too. And I have some other favorites that he doesn't like, so <laughs> I won't say what they are because people <laughs> might hate on them. It's okay, though. I like, uh, back in the day, though, back in the day, I was listening to Petra, if you ever heard of those. Um, Jars of Clay, back when they were a band, I listened to them. Oh, oh man. Dan Dixon, thing? yes. We love uh, NF. He's yep. a Christian rapper, if, yep. if y'all never heard all of time. him. All the time. Some of his music, for me, I can't do. But some of it, it's so addicting. Mm. It's so addictive to me. Um, I don't know. I just, we love some of his music, but yes, some of it's not. Yes, David Sher, Elio, for those of you who don't know, uh, Leo is a law enforcement officer. Yep. I used to always carry stuff that said Leo wife or stuff like that. Mm. I finally stopped carrying that just a, oh. probably three or four weeks ago. So. Oh, yes. Newsboys. They're awesome too. Yeah. Guys, not if you always listen. Oh, yeah, yeah. I like that one. Toby Mac and Crowder are my favorite too. But um, what's that group I like so much? We got the little firecracker. Ch- uh, uh, something Childers. Oh my gosh. I, got, <laughs> I don't remember. I got. I love that group, and I can't even remember their name. Casting Crowns. Yep. Now, there's a bunch of them, man. There's there's a bunch of. Them. Let's see. Let me. I've got it in my. There's a big group oh, of them. And Brandon Lake. Brandon Lake. Sings the song called I Need a Ghost, Child of Love, We the Kingdom. Yeah, We the Kingdom. There you go. Um, Brandon Lake has good music, but he's kind of Carmen. Like yep. I remember. Unspoken of. Mm-hmm. Uh, you don't hear about him a lot, but we got lots of Leos on here. Jars of Clay CD sitting in the house. Mm-hmm. That Flood song, what got me on Jars of Clay? That was a good one. I used to listen to that. Like it was on repeat in my CD player. I like old country. <laughs> old country or. Um, some really old music, like Loretta Lynn yeah. type. Music. Rodney, I listen to all kinds, man. I'll be listening to sometimes of Metallica and all kinds of stuff out there. It just, just depends. Hey, uh, Miss Beans. Orbo says, any recommendations on a table saw? If 
it just depends on what you're looking for. Uh, obviously, uh, I would, if you could afford it, go with a saw stop. The safeties and the equipment itself is second to none. They're just awesome saws. I absolutely love mine. But if, uh, if budget is a concern, I would, I would probably look at the Delta 36, 725 T2 is the one they got it now. If you can find it in stock, those things are hard to find, but those are, those would be my two picks. And then anything lower than that, if you're just going for a bench top model, then I would look at a DeWalt with the rack and pinion fence is kind of what I would look at. If you go to three by three tool or three by three customs on YouTube, she uses a, a little a uh, table saw like that, DeWalt saw, whatever model she's using looks like a good one. Oh, David says his wife wanted to embarrass him. <laughs> <laughs> Did it work? I don't know. That's funny, though. <laughs> um, Rich Inc. 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 I don't ever say his name right. It's that way around here, too. I think it's that way in lots of parts of the world. He said in his area, supporting Leos can be risky. He's a supporter and gets confronted a lot, unfortunately. Mm, that's crazy. Yeah. That ha that's happening more and more too. Mm -hmm. I hate that. Billy Leo is law enforcement officer. It's just a short, uh, shortened version of that. Yeah. Uh, and Becca, I do like the Christmas jammies <laughs> that are coming. I love Christmas music. Uh, PJ, uh, absolutely. There's '80s fans here. I listen to Guns N' Roses. I listen to Poison, Def Leppard, all those. So I had a student. Okay, they got to wear Halloween costumes Friday. And I had this kid, he came dressed as MC Hammer. And I heard about it before he, I saw him that day. And they said, hey, so-and-so's dressed as MC Hammer. So he walks into my class, and before I let him come through the door, I said, stop. <laughs> Hammer time. And he kind of laughed anyway. Come in. And I said, has anybody done that to you today? And he said, no, you're the first. So he sits down and... Uh, I say something about him being MC Hammer, and a girl in my class goes, "Who's MC Hammer?" I'm like, oh, what do you mean? <laughs> <sighs> uh, "Really?" That's fine. <laughs> hey, David Corliss uh, says if you like old country music, check out Cody Jinx. He has an old country music sound. Okay. Yeah, I'll I listen to Cody Jinx sometimes. I don't listen to any Morgan of the new Wallen. country. Probably Morgan Wallen as new country oh, is probably gosh, my favorite. I'm so sick of hearing about that guy. Like his, his all music of my is seventh grade girls are marrying him. Oh my gosh. If if y'all didn't know that, every seventh grade <laughs> girl in the world is marrying that guy. Yeah. Jeez. I'm like, Phew. and he's got a concert coming up. He's the Billy Ray Cyrus of this age. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway, I had a Billy Ray Cyrus outfit. <laughs> it was tie dye. <laughs> That's even worse. It was beautiful. <laughs> uh, if I could grow a mullet, I'd do it. I had a whole dance. To hey, John, know mullets heart. are coming back or are back? <laughs> uh, no, Jason. We don't love Morgan Wallen. <laughs> I don't even know what he sings. I've never heard a song. He's got by some him. good music. Good music. I don't listen to current country at all. I'm assuming he's country. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, Jay Whipple. Tell him. We are closer My to 2050 than we are in 1990. My best friend and I came up with a whole dance to Aiky Breaky e Heart. It, I still know it to this day. <laughs> What's that? Uh, there was one Alan Jackson when they were dancing to. Oh, thank you, great grandpa. <laughs> thank you. Oh grandpa. yeah. Uh, it's tall, tall trees and the rivers into something. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> uh, oh, I gotta look it up. Out, Rodney. That one hurt. What? That one stung. What he say? He said, "Did mullets ever leave South Arkansas?" <laughs> it ain't like Joe they Dirt. They left down here. Arkansas. They just didn't leave Alabama. <laughs> they, they, there, there's a bunch of kids in her school rocking mullets. I, the first time I saw them, I guess it was this year. I was like, "What? I, I what world am it. I in?" We made fun of those things for how long now? And all the waters, and I'm a fool, fool, fool for you. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, it's the tall, tall <laughs> yep. trees. Co and the waters Q and the said fish. it. Yeah. <laughs> we had a dance. Uh, <laughs> oh, my goodness. Jeez. Thank you, C. Archer. That's the goal, man. 500,000 is what, no, no. We were, yeah, 500,000 is what our goal is for 2022. We set a big yes, goal. Jason. Uh, for 2022 and an even bigger one for 2023. So we're going, we're full steam ahead on this. Oh, Cassandra's even telling me I need to listen to a Morgan Wallen yeah. CD and C. I don't know. 
I, I don't listen to a current country. I we like we oldies. typically like if we're in the house together or even all day when she's gone. The we got the, the a word, Alexa. Yeah, we got can't her say playing it too loud because they'll all pick up. Well, we got her playing it playing, uh, Kayla. Yeah. I have the one in my classroom. We call it Echo. Thank you, Lincoln. Um, but I have it playing either K Love or eighties country. Sometimes nineties. I don't go past nineties usually. But I like oldies. I grew up on those. Mm -hmm. We listen to a lot of old country, too. 80s, 90s country. Uh, Michelle said to see the question, I saw stop. I didn't see it. Okay, I'm trying. Hold on. 3HP. Let me find it. You keep answering the other ones. I'll look for it. <laughs> cool. Had a mullet back in the 80s waiting on parachute pants to come back. I had some parachute pants, too. Had zippers all over them, dude. I had the kangaroo shoes. <laughs> had the pockets all over them. Those things were sweet. I could I could make some sweet. Miss <laughs> Stephanie, that might have to be a uh, a short. Dang it! Of you talking about Billy Ray Cyrus. <laughs> <laughs> Viral. <laughs> oh Lord! Look, my daddy. I'm trying to find that comment, but my daddy found me this Billy Ray Cyrus outfit in a truck stop because he was a truck driver, and it was the top and it was shorts, and they had a heart. That was broken and it was like plastered onto the t shirt. Was and it then the, achy breaky? It was achy breaky. <laughs> and I, I couldn't tell it. And then I had it on the shorts. And man, I was the coolest person ever walking around in that outfit with my kangaroo shoes with pockets in them and quarters in them. I'm just saying. It was cool. You were with cool. My permed hair. You were cool. Jacob Kite says, Do you I have any cool hair. projects coming down the pipeline? Yes. I just got through building and I'm now I'm editing the outdoor chair build it's to match our outdoor sectional and then after that we've got a um chunky i, I guess this will be a farmhouse style that. coffee table with it's square breadboard ends x base like a big chunky table and have a walnut top and it'll be a really cool project so we got that I, coming i can't find the question from the michelle question. mason about one and a half to three horsepower what are matt's thoughts if i so when I was looking at my saw oh, stop, I just found it. Any views on the 1.75 versus three horsepower regarding a saw stop? Local retailer says unless I want to resaw super thick and hardwood, the 1.75 with a great blade is more than enough. Michael Mason was asking that. So Michael, I I watched a video on that. Some guy, there's a saw stop review out there. I watched it. He he got the 1.75 and says he has no regrets. I got the three horsepower. I have no regrets. Uh, the The Delta that I had was about a horsepower ish, a horsepower and a quarter, but it was it would it's just not the same thing as the as a, as a saw stop. I think a one point seven five would probably be more than enough, so long as you're not cutting like super thick hardwoods a lot. Now, even I run a three inch thick piece of walnut. You can go watch the the uh, workbench build through that Delta. And it is, I just took it slow with a good blade and it cut it just fine. You just take it a little slower. I think 1.75 would be plenty. If you can afford the three horsepower and then get you upgrade on your electrical, uh, you, you will not regret that at all either. Yes, Damon. Penny loafers were super cool too. I had those. I'm still a loafer fan though. I love a good loafer. Tory Birch and Fry make the best loafers for women. They are superb. Uh, Lincoln Street does have a good smooth. a good point on the uh, three horsepower. He says you won't ever have regrets and can run a full curve blade. So, I mean, if you spend a little, I don't know what the price difference is, four or five hundred dollars maybe, uh, if that. And then you won't ever look back. You won't ever have to worry about it again. <laughs> Jim Mado says we're cracking them up with all this oldies country music from the eighties and the nineties. <laughs> I graduated high school in eighty two. That's funny. I graduated in 96, and so the 90s was, you know, um, and one of the songs that came out was the John Deere Green. That was mm -hmm. a big song. I don't remember if it was my junior year or senior uh, senior year, but there, we actually, I went to school and graduated with a boy who he and his brother were, sorry, were with two other brothers, and they actually were offered a deal to go to Nashville, mm -hmm. and two they of the brothers good, didn't want to go. Good. Um, they were amazing 
And one of them, the one that was in my uh, grade, he was a friend of mine. He sang that song. Every time he mm. saw me in the hallway, he would start singing that song. Yeah. <sighs> that song was huge at that time. Well, back in the 90s, I was I graduated in 1995 and starting about 93, 94, probably grunge rock come in. So and I still listen to that a lot. Nirvana, Pearl Jam, like all that. It's like I love that music for some reason. <laughs> Philip says you graduated in 96. <laughs> I retired from the Navy in 96. <laughs> One of the best concerts I've ever been to. Now, Reba McIntyre was... That was a good one. Oh, she's beautiful in person. Like, I walked mm -hmm. up to the stage, and I swear she's, like, looking up at an angel. <laughs> anyway, Kelly Clarkson was there, too. She's really good. But the Jonas Brothers, they were really good in concert. Yeah, they were, actually. They were really good. We took good. our daughter to it. Mm -hmm. They were really good. Michael Ridley says, are you guys high school sweethearts? Nah, she wouldn't have nothing to do with me. She was hanging around the cool kids tree and He's such a liar. He is such a liar. We didn't meet till after <laughs> high school. We didn't even go to the same high school. <laughs> we didn't meet till after high school. We, But we went to elementary school together. We played on the playground mm -hmm. together. We had the same friend group. Mm -hmm. We just didn't know each other. His best friend is married to the girl that was my best friend from, the, from elementary. They're married to this day. They're actually the ones that set us up on a date together. But we hung out together mm -hmm. and never knew it. So it's it's pretty funny actually. Philip said he and Reba were born in the same year. Reba is amazing <laughs> in concert. I love me some Reba McIntyre. And oh, Melissa, I forgot Peterman about the giveaway. There. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, the giveaway. A couple more things I'm giving away. I forgot. Totally forgot about this. So the mini workbench that I built. Uh, I've got two of those. I've got one Mike Taylor built and the one I built. I'm going to give away one of those and I will give away the, the necessary stuff to go with it. So your dovetail clamps, four dovetail clamps and some dovetail hardware so that everything works like it's supposed to. Thank you, Clark Duncan. Thank you, man. And uh, also the circular saw, <clears throat> circular saw that I uh, oh, cracked up. Let's get rid of it. Uh, the circular saw that I did, the cheapest circular saw on Amazon, it's actually a pretty good circular saw. I just don't need it. I've got two saws. So that will, it's been used for that video. That's it. It'll have a good CMT blade on it. I'm giving that away as well. So there's two um, more prizes there. Corby Q says, took my wife to see Miranda Lambert in July. She cried the whole way there. It was a dream <laughs> of hers. I love Miranda Lambert. That's funny. I would so go see her in concert. <laughs> <sighs> uh, Clark Duncan wants to know my thoughts on X car versus Shapeco. I, I've never used X Carve. Uh, I've only got the Shapeco. Tell and them how to enter the giveaway. There's a link in the description below. Uh, to go, the first link you see in the description, or it's on the community tab. I posted it on there too on the on the YouTube channel. Uh, Clark, if I was looking to compare <laughs> anything, I would compare the Shapeco to the Onefinity. A lot of people have told me that Onefinity is better because of the rails. However, Shapeco just come out with a upgraded version that doesn't have belts, so I would kind of look at that too. But now, the Shapeco has been great for me whenever we don't argue. <laughs> it does pretty good so long as I don't try to do too much with it. If I I was trying to do something the other day, and I guess it hit a, I was cutting out some fraternity um, paddles for my son who was giving them to his fraternity. He swears they're not going to paddle each other with them. Yeah, right. Anyway, I was cutting some of those out of maple, and I guess it hit a clamp or something. That's the only thing I figured out, but it went right through the middle of it and messed it up. Paul wants to know if I was too cool for school. Yeah, she was. Really. Omega Recon, yep. That's the one, <laughs> the one that can't cut a straight line with the Craig. It cut a straight line after I put a good blade on there, the, the crappy blade I chunked. Uh, they said, what about one of your mallets? Uh, I don't have any, but uh, we could probably make one for that. I got oh, a okay. charcuterie board right there that I made we could throw in there. Oh, yeah, that one's pretty. Mm -hmm. That would be a good. Uh, we don't have any T-shirts in the giveaway. Uh, I don't know that we get any here in time. They take a while mm -hmm. to print and get here. We do, yeah, and we don't have anybody local that we can really depend on to do it. Uh, <laughs> Andy said he's so glad you didn't push any buttons this week. Me too, and they're they're tempting. There's a bunch but he, of them. He still messed up in the beginning. Yeah, we right had an echo beginning. just going. He tried to say it was my computer. Well, what had happened was apparently I had. What the, happened was you messed up. What happened was. <laughs> I love you. I love you. <laughs> we have too much fun together, y'all. This is like all the time. Our kids get sick of us. They're not fun, though. Yeah. 
sticks uh, in the mood. Mo is fun because you can fight with her all the time. Mm-hmm. Like she'll never give up. So that's fun. The boys aren't fun because they're like, yeah, whatever. Or they just walk off. <laughs> uh, Michelle Cochelle, I, I barely use that cricket much. Um, it was good for stenciling, but after I got out of that, I never used it. Yeah, we don't even have it anymore, the cricket. Yeah, she said I shouldn't have got rid of it. Oh, I didn't see it. Sorry. Stephanie says to hit that like button. You have hit to go it, out it. of the chat, hit the like, and then come back into the chat. Mm-hmm. Yeah, ri- that's right, Michael. Uh, Rigid um, has a rebranded uh, table saw, T2. I'll, let me text Mo and tell her everybody's asking about her. Maybe that'll make her She was on. doing homework, Maybe. I think. She can jump on there though for a second. Won't hurt nothing. She's so funny. Clark says, willing "Are you to retire? You yeah. at five hundred k subs?" Clark wants to know. Inquired um, minds want to know. Yeah, he's. I think he's willing to do it way before then. Yeah. <laughs> I need some help. He's told me just come home. Yeah, he needs help, but I can't just walk away from. No, no. That many kids, you know, it's it's different. That's funny. You were country when country wasn't cool. That's what Paul said to David Little. He said you were country when country uh, wasn't hilarious. cool. I used to love that song. <laughs> <laughs> I grew up listening to the oldies um, because my dad, I, I grew up with my dad, mm. you know, and we would travel during the summers when he was, he was a trucker. So I would ride with him and that's what he liked to listen to. And I loved mm. it. I still love a good song like my boyfriend's back. That is one of, the best was songs the 50s? ever. I don't know what year it came I out. I bet it Hold was on. the 50s or gotta be 50s. Oh, it's, it's, it's that old know. bop style music. Uh, I used to, re- I remember singing that song to my daddy all the time. Hey, if, uh, if, if, y- if y'all have a, uh, 1963, if y'all see the post that I made on Facebook, Instagram, Anywhere like that on the giveaway, feel free to share that so that others can get in on this because we got a lot of stuff. Like, there's going to be quite a bit of opportunity to win something. It may just be a blade, but these look nice. I'm going to try them out maybe this week. I just ordered uh, two Diablo blades to compare to them, so I'm going to try to get it. Mo said to tell y'all that she's been in there napping with Mia, her dog. Mm. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. She's just... Lazy bones. Lazy bones in there. She says she's on there now. <laughs> I think she's talking. <laughs> yeah, she's talking to him. Said, did someone call for me? My ears are burning. Lord, Mo, you know you're lying. <laughs> I told him I was texting you. She knows she's watching. <laughs> she's funny. Back to the front. What? Mm. My boyfriend's back and you're going to be in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Michelle knows it. Yeah. It's the. Uh, it's by the Angels. In 1963, it's one of the best songs ever. (laughs) Oldies but goodies. Oldies but goodies. When I went to Loretta Lynn's ranch a few years ago, I cried. She did. I was there. Legit. That was cool, though. And and we rode the tour bus that was driven by her, her real bus driver when she toured. He drove us around. We got to go, uh, like, they would hey, ask questions on the tour. They would ask mm-hmm. everybody questions. And I was in the front seat, and I was answering every question. Mm-hmm. I was that annoying person that would not let anybody <laughs> else answer. And then they started asking really hard ones, like, really hard ones about her son that died and other things, about uh, her husband, you know, Mooney and all them. And I was answering every one of them. They were like, you really know a lot about Loretta Lynn. I was like, yeah, I do. That's right. <laughs> she wanted to meet her, but we never saw Yeah. Her. <laughs> so I, I'm not really competitive normally. Uh, Lee, I don't I don't know anything about One Infinity uh, Journeyman CNCs. I've heard a lot of good things about One Infinity themselves. Uh, matter of fact, I was several people told me you know you should have got the One Infinity, but uh, me and Carbide's the one that worked out the deal. They gave me this hey one, the back so. back blazer back back blazer. But I've heard a lot of good things about One Infinity. Uh, go check out uh, Myers Myers Woodshop on YouTube. He just He's got a 150 he got about a year or so ago, and he's been using it ever since. And I think he's happy with it. Mo, if I can figure out a way to stalk her, mm-hmm. I will. I would. I would totally do that. Somebody needs to get our YouTube over to Loretta Lynn so she knows that I want to meet her. <laughs> we should all, like, message somebody about that. She's awesome, y'all. 
<clears throat> all right, Charlie, I missed that one. I'm sorry. It was something about... Um, Have a good night, Miss Cheryl. Cabinet versus uh, contractor saws. So I had the contractor saw forever, uh, four years. And now that I got the cabinet saw, like it's just such a, it's a more solid saw. Nothing moves. It's not supposed to, and it doesn't shake. It doesn't vibrate. It's just smooth running. When I turn that thing on, it's just like, it's like, it just sings. It's just, it's, you can just, when you flip that switch and it's zing, it just, it powers up. Everything's so smooth. It cuts smoother. It's, it's a big difference between, in my opinion, between, or from my experience, the uh, contractor versus the cabinet. Not saying that you can't get by or can't make awesome, amazing projects with a, a contractor saw because you can. Bunches and bunches of people do it. But it is a step up. It's an upgrade. Well. Well, well, well. Be well, sure. Well. Be sure that you enter that giveaway. And no, you do not have to be present, present to win. The link is in the description. There's also a post on the community tab and on Instagram and Facebook. If you want to go enter the giveaway, there's multiple entries opportunities, uh, following different people on Instagram, all the, uh, generous donors, make sure you follow those. Cause if it wasn't for them, we wouldn't have the stuff to give you as much as we got. So welcome Danny. Well, with, with, with finally made a live show in the shop, working on two slab projects and five other small projects hello from central wisconsin 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 awesome i probably butchered your name danny i'm very sorry oh I'm you said danny just fine <laughs> oh, <look. laughs> oh. Oh, that's awesome you're the coolest kid i know i just thought i was the keenest oh really babe the keenest, <laughs> the keenest. <laughs> pleasantville was an awesome movie too yeah it was. i'm buzzing over here <laughs> All right, oh, so goodness. be sure and join us next week. We're going to draw live on the air. We're going to draw for all the prizes. I'll have them all entered into Gleam by then. I know that I've got eight table saw blades, or two table saw blades. No, no, <laughs> six table saw blades and two miter saw blades. And I've also got a set of Narex chisels. We've got some $25 gift cards to Copper John's Beard Company. We got, man, we got all kinds of stuff. And, and uh, uh, John's cutting board Franklin. kits and... He says, never joined a live show, hopes to do it again. Now he subscribed and will get notified. Thank you, man. So that's awesome. Big old fist bump. Yeah. Appreciate that. What is Mo wanting? The birthday year. The I don't even know what that means. Year. What does that even mean? What? Oh. <laughs> uh, it's U.S. only, uh, John. I'm sorry. <laughs> I remember what it was. <sighs> uh, so the reason why we have to do only U.S. only is because Canada, there's one province or area there that has very strict rules on giveaways like you have to live in that area or have to abide by those rules very strictly and so we're not allowed to do those giveaways anywhere outside the u.s and other countries have some have rules some don't and it's just it's such a mod podge and we have to follow those rules and stay within guidelines so that's why we do that and that's why we have to just do usa Sorry. Okay, mo wants us to tell him what she said about your birthday year so Sunday, he said something to her about, you don't even, or when, do you even know when my birthday year is? And she said, every year. Yeah. Yeah. That's what she wanted to say. It was funny say. at the time. <laughs> that's what she wanted to say. But it kind of fell flat there. So. It kind of fell flat because it, Mo, you got to use this stuff in context. <laughs> <laughs> it was a big, long it's conversation. It's one of those, you, you had to be there. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. She didn't know you. Uh, Aaron. I don't actually make those plans. Uh, he wants to uh, said I should do a video on how to build, build the plans. plans. H2 Wood Shop. He was on here earlier. Mm -hmm. uh, he does all of our plans for us. Uh, does an amazing job with those. Said it's funny. And uh, so that's that's who does ours. <laughs> but Steve Ramsey has a whole series on how to use SketchUp. So that's what I would probably go to. Mo said I didn't build it up right. Well, it's a whole conversation. <laughs> Mo, behave. <laughs> Bryce says, "What happened to the Delta? I gave the Delta away to somebody local who needed a saw. It was the newer of the two saws, so I gave that to him." And I kept the older, the DeWalt. All right. Well, it's 8.04. We've kept y'all long enough mm -hmm. tonight. <laughs> Thank y'all very much. Be sure to enter Thank that you. giveaway. I want some of y'all to, or all of y'all to win this stuff and make amazing projects with it. Yep. Good night. Y'all good night.